All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Uh, <clears throat> this will be a short video. Uh, actually, I think I have a flu, something like that. My nose is not working fine. Uh, <clears throat> so I will not go live uh, on air tomorrow, because I'm thinking it's going to be better, I mean, worse by tomorrow morning. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I wanted to share this video with you. Uh, you know, uh, many years ago, I wanted to have my own TV station. And I decided to call it DB TV. And I tried hard, really, to make it work. But, you know, we got very few support. But the reason at that time I wanted to have a TV station, um, because I wanted to reach out through the world, like using satellite. And satellite is really expensive. Each satellite, you know, in order to cover the whole world, you need, I think, between 11 to 13 satellites. Which means you have to rent uh, 13 uh, frequency uh, or broadcast by satellite. And each one of them cost, you know, 20,000, between 18 to 20,000. <clears> anyway, I could not make it because it's very expensive and we got really little support. Very few people supported us. Uh, but today the world is different. In front of us, a TV station, which is not really a TV station. You see, if you, if you look what I am doing right now, I have a formula which is equal to any TV station. I do not need even have it to, to have a studio. And this is a software I bought you know, cost me, uh, you know, good money. But before, in order to have that, you have to have a studio, lighting. I mean, a lot, a lot of money. <clears throat> so what happened in the last few years, things really changed a lot. And you do not need to spend hundreds of thousands or millions to have a station. <clears throat> Excuse me again, my, my throat is not really good. And tomorrow, I, I don't think I will go live. I, as you, you can tell, I think my voice is not good. Uh, like now, from my software here, from my computer, I can have a water news station. It's just one click. I can, uh, you know, uh, make it uh, look different. I can, I mean, it's amazing how the world changed. It's just a software. You do not need a studio. If you look at the screen there, you will see the guy there. He have behind him buildings, etc. Those all all are fake. Even the table is fake. I mean, everything you see, it's a fake studio. So look what happened. For a long time, in order to have a TV station, you have to be a billionaire. Not only you have to have millions, because your millions will be drying soon because it costs a lot until you establish yourself. <clears throat> so today, because of the new revolution of the internet and how easy it is to broadcast, and there's multiple platform, not only YouTube, I mean, there's tons. Things became so different. In the front of us, we have a TV station, it's called the Newsmax. Now this is Newsmax. Actually, it's it's I don't. It's like a YouTube station. It's not even a station. I mean, how in the world this is? It is a station now. In the last two weeks, this station generated a lot, a lot, a lot of views. Especially after Fox News betray President Trump. And this is how you know. Let us say opportunity work and stupidity work. Those who they are supporting Trump, suddenly they found that there is nobody really present their voice. They found that Fox News run and owned by a scumbag. He's a fraud. He's a liar. He was using Trump when Trump is leaving, so he betrayed Trump immediately. They have no dignity. I mean, the guy did not even leave the White House. And right away they betray him. 
but all of this work for the benefit of this little tiny TV station. And there is some other, by the way, it's not only one. I mean, there's other TV stations, which is a small, tiny TV stations. But look, let me show you. The second you speak about election, look how many people are against Trump. All the media, right away, YouTube, they put here that AP, Associated Press, has called President Reese for Joe Biden. So now they are telling you who is the president. I mean, it's not even, it's not the judges, it's not the law, it is not the electrical vote, it's not them. It is Associated Press, Press is the one who tells us who is the president. You see how corrupt this media is? If you go down a little bit, you will see this channel, who is a new channel, have 1.44 million subscriber. From a small, tiny, to something really big. Right away, they are growing so fast. Why? Because all those who knew that Trump should win, and those who support Trump, regardless if this is, you know, let us say, for the sake of argument, Trump, he lost. Let us say for the sake of argument. And I don't believe that. I believe there's a bigger fraud. It's a big, big scam. But let us say for the sake of argument, Trump, he lost. I mean, how in the world, how shame, how, you know, they have, they have no shame, those people, before even, I mean, yesterday you were supporting him the day after you, I mean, what happened? But this is what happened when you have fake friends who want to use you. And when you are not there, let us say you are not strong, they dump you. And actually, all of us in life, we witness things like this. You know, when you are rich, when you are powerful, when you are healthy, uh, you know, people, they are there for you. When you they feel that you are weak, suddenly they throw you in the garbage. But all of this, all of this work for those <clears throat> who they used to be no one. I mean, this TV station, maybe it have like two or three people working it. And now it's growing so fast. And people are unsubscribing from Fox News and nobody want to watch Fox News no more. They CNN already, nobody watch it anyway. You know, CNN, even if the news is about something good, I don't watch it. But, you know, I warned people from a long time ago that those TV stations are nothing to trust. Murdoch, the owner of Face, uh, uh, Fox News, he said more than 12 days, I think, before the election, that Trump, he will lose. It's planned. They want him to lose. They don't want him. This guy, he is a disaster for them. He did not go for war. He is, even now, even now, he is trying his best to withdraw the army from Afghanistan, from Iraq. They don't want that. The generals and the army in this story, the war in this story, they don't like that. So, this guy, he is facing a big, big war against him. And trust me, when Biden take the office, if he take the office, and most likely he will, he will try to put Trump and his children in jail. To be sure that he will not come in the coming election to face him and to challenge him to win. Because he knew he would win. They will do anything they can to get rid of this man. And the American are just watching. Imagine that the software which controlled the election is not even American software. Even the server for the software is not even hosted in USA. Imagine the same software we use for America election is the same one for Venezuela, Honduras, etc. I mean, have you ever heard of a garbage like this? which means the one who controlled the computer for the election is not even in America. <laughs> Somebody in Germany or in Poland, he can change the result of the election. How in the world? But you see, I want to blame Trump for this because you were there in the office for four years and you never questioned how this will work. And you know that they are waiting for you to lose and preparing for you. You waited four years, you did not fix it. It was a big mistake, costly mistake. Uh, so, what I want to say, 
uh, that those people who betray it doesn't matter who they are it can be TV it can be your wife it can be your son it can be your brother it can be your friend those people who betray others they will not have respect from anyone because people they have memory you know I mean who is going to respect Fox News today and look what Fox News right away after they call Joe Biden as a president Fox News they start saying we hear you oh you know we heard your voice because they, they noticed that a lot of people are leaving Fox News nobody want to watch it no more nobody trusts them no more nobody will listen to them and nobody is going to go and switch their TV so if you want people really let us say uh, to be good to you never betray them because time will come and you yourself you will be dumped those who betray others they themselves they will be dumped and they will pay for it and now we see the result they wanted Trump to leave and they betrayed Trump and now no people and nobody is watching their TV and their TV became the same as CNN and now they are trying to fix the damage they did but who is going to listen people are so angry from their betrayal and me myself actually I never trust this Fox News never never because Everyone who work in this Fox News TV station is a liar. And I can, you know, you can watch my videos, previous videos, how many times I spoke against Fox News. The same Fox News, in the time of Obama, they were asking Obama, how come you are not attacking Syria? The same Fox News, when Trump, he became president, never asked Trump, why you are attacking Syria? I mean, what happened? What a different? Because this is a, this is a propaganda machine and businessmen who own it is the one control where the direction will go and here we go they saw trump look like he is losing so what we will do by the fraud so what we will do we will switch to the winner we will not stay with the loser not levin oh levin is the same trust me you see all those names you know i uh, uh, the problem is <clears throat> the problem is that we, uh, you know, we don't know what's like. As an example, and when I watch news, when I listen to news, uh, I see how people they change. If you go and see Levin before the election of Trump, he was making fun of him. Go, go see before the. I'm not talking about this election, 2016. He's bad. He's ugly. He's disgusting. He's no one. He's stupid. The same. The same garbage. The guy who won the switch with him. Right? Well, my friend, uh, uh, still more than six million. This is a TV station that exists for a century. And those are people who they started yesterday. <laughs> Same time, when people subscribe, they don't go look for the you know, Fox News and, and subscribe. The real subscribe is how many people pay for the cable. You see those people they don't care really for a, for a, for a, for a youtube they care for how much money they receive so they are cable companies and cable companies they can tell how many people watch it right now the same as in youtube you're in youtube so cable company they give report to those tv stations right now you have twenty thousand people watching you or in the moment etc you have fifty thousand in the moment etc you drop to twenty thousand so it's about money those are not a charity TV stations and what count at the end is how many people watch them in cable not in YouTube this is not how they make money they don't make money from YouTube All right so uh, and when there is somebody I mean, there's YouTubers, they have they have almost uh, five million, six millions. 
I mean, we're talking about Fox News. Is, is six million is a lot? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Who in the world is going to trust this TV station after what they did? What a scam, what a fraud, what no no shame. I mean, at least wait until the guy he went legally, you know, okay, you know, you wanna at least play smart. So things is changing, and today a person like me who do not have a studio sitting wearing his uh, flip flap in a cold room have cold yet he can have a lot of viewers you know i just you know started the, we did not even tell our people about that we are coming here and here we go so this is a lesson for people to learn people who betray they betray if you have a friend let us say you think he's a friend and he come to you and he start telling you about other friend that's mean this guy he will do the same to you he's not a friend you know what i mean if you are a girl or a man and you have a friend who come to you and the friend they start talking about different friend in his back that's mean this person is betraying the other person that's mean he betray you too he's not trustworthy this is how you learn about people in life and the one who betray, he is the same as a dog. His tail will never go straight. He will never be a dog with a straight tail. He will never change. He will betray always. So this is a lesson for us. And actually I made a video about Fox News when they I mean, I was shocked. I mean, how Fox News right away they changed their mind about Trump, <clears throat> and they they decide to throw him under the the train. The future is YouTube. I don't believe so. You see, things are changing so fast. I think YouTube is going to die too. I think all of those things is going to die. You know, things change. You see, I remember, I remember when the time it was the time of a DVD. You know. Like even I used to print, uh, uh, I make DVDs and give them out. All right, because this is at the time it was. This is what it was. I remember when we used to watch movie in the what you call it HSV something like this, the big one. Uh, you know, all of those things at that time people they think this is the biggest business, right? So always there is something new will come and destroy what it was before it. Soon there is. A big company a very well known one and already they are in the in the in the moon or in the space they are launching tens and thousands of satellites to start an internet everywhere right now it's expensive soon it's going to be very cheap soon the internet will change soon the the way of everything will change and youtube is not going to be important because there will be million youtube actually the whole idea of trump doing like fighting uh, TikTok and etc. It's just to protect the American companies. I mean, come on. All of us, we knew that all of them did spy. I mean, so YouTube, they are better than TikTok. How? Oh, oh, they are hosting their programs in USA. Who said so? Call your bank. You will see the answer you from the Philippines. Call your bank right now. Call your, uh, call your gas company. They answer you from India. They have all your information about you, so this is not an imp this is not a security problem. But TikTok is a problem, or oh, this is a China. So all of this is an excuse, you know, trying to make that American companies, Google, Facebook, Twitter, are the monster. They don't want other monsters to grow. And actually, I am against Trump in this move, because why we want to be controlled in one company who became like an empire? Let other company, let's say competition, and all of them, they spy at us anyway. All of them, they spy at you. So, things will change. Things will not stay the same. 
and YouTube will not be the biggest platform. Actually, actually, already YouTube, there's many people don't even use it no more. And this is the fear of YouTube and the fear of Facebook and the fear of Twitter. That those new companies, Chinese companies and other companies, they are going to change the direction. All right? Uh, America is dying slowly. I don't think so, my friend. We don't want to be exaggerating too. I mean, America is a, is a continent by itself, and it's a very rich country. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to be like you know the conspiracy people who say, no, America will never. What America is dying? We we have enough oil for centuries to come. We have enough food for centuries to come. Whatever they say to you about the dollar, don't believe it. The whole the whole world run by the dollar. So don't go that far. And don't make them fool you. There's there's two countries. If people say to them they are dying, laugh. Russia and America. Russia and America. Russia is the richest country in the world, not America. I'm not talking about money in the pocket. I'm talking about resources. So those countries they will never die. Nobody can make them die. No sanctions in the world can 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 destroy them. And they have all the resource you can imagine. But we don't want to go there. So, uh, bitch, bitch, shoot, bitch, shoot. I don't know what is that. Anyway, there's many programs, you know. Uh, yeah. Go rumble for the backup. What rumble for the backup? What does that mean, Sylvia? I don't know what people say. This one actually, I, I, uh, uh, you know, some sometimes chat is weird. Uh, it doesn't matter if they censor us or not, uh, and you know we can stop. I mean, we can complain about they censor us. Well, you know, this is who they are. They are liberals. Who is holding you from having your own YouTube? Make one, right? Can Trump win the election? Uh, you know, I don't know. This is, will go up to court, and obviously they are fighting him very hard, and everybody is betraying him. So, based on what I see, based on the betrayal of even those who claim to be his friends, it doesn't look like he is going to win. Because now he is, you know, every day he wake up in the morning, he found the new people. They are leaving him alone. So this is what happened always. When it's, it's like you know, if when you watch a movie, uh, like you know. Do you know the movie about uh, Julius Caesar? You know, I mean, Caesar is Caesar until he is weak, and then everybody want to put a knife in his chest. And this is exactly what they are doing with the Trump. He is the king. He is the king. He is the king. When they notice that he is not going to be the king, everybody want to stab him in his back. I feel really sorry for this man. You know, he didn't deserve what happened. Before the election, three days before the election, or two days. I have a friend who, you know, he said, obviously, uh, Trump, he will win. I said, I think this election is way bigger than Trump because they are not going to let him win. If, he, if they let him win, this is a disaster for them. The last four years was a disaster for them. And I was right, you know. But I don't want to believe really that he, was, he will lose, but this is what happened. But anyway... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, well, I see the press conference, but my friend, my friend, you see, the problem is we have a system built by Democrat for a long time. There's thousands and thousands of judges. So you want to go to court where in Pennsylvania, where in the county where it's run by Democrat, <laughs> but the county there, the judges are hired by Democrat. They are Democrat. <laughs> So you, you see, I mean, the, the, the problem is bigger than what you think. It's like, you know, me and I'm speaking against Islam. And then you want to take me to a judge who is a Muslim and you will defend me in front of a judge who is a Muslim and saying to me or saying to the judge, this guy, he don't deserve to go to jail. He's just attacking Allah. All right. Yeah, my friend, socialism can grow, but socialism is the same as the grow, the same as going to die. You see, always people, they try things. It's okay. Uh, I will give you an example. When many years ago, I was doing a radio show with the brother Osama Dakdok. 
And at that time, the same day, I think, the Muslim Brotherhood, they won the election in Egypt. Osama was very upset. He is an Egyptian. I said to him, don't be upset. That's good. He could not believe it, how I say it. This is good. I said, well, uh, you know, when you are not in the government, you can make all the claims you want. You can say the president is bad, he is disgusting, he is stupid, you know. Okay, give them the office. People, they will see that they are the bad, and they are the disgusting, and they are the fraud. Give them the office. And this is, again, what will happen to the socialists when they take office. Don't you see? New York is collapsing. New York, the biggest Democrat idol, is collapsing. People are living in New York left or right. Nobody will live there. All the liberal states are going empty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, they will lose, even if they take over. So people, they can vote for you. You can fool them by speeches. You can tell them, I will give you health insurance, blah, 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 like Chavez. You know Chavez? Uh, you know, okay, Chavez took over, and then Chavez is, uh, go and see Venezuela. So those people, they can take over, but the same as they go high fast, they will dig down fast. You know what I'm saying? Actually, the best way uh, for them, the fastest way for this socialism to die is give them the office. Joe Biden, he promised American uh, health insurance. Okay, let's see. <laughs> he said, you will have a free education. Let us see. Let us see how this will happen. So people, after four years, they will say to him, where is the free insurance? And where is the free education? And where is the, the, all the things you promise? The same as Obama, he did. You know, the reason actually Trump, he won, because of, the, because of their lies. People are, you know, they are desperate from their lies. And the same will happen in four years from now, even if they give the office to Biden. But anyway, uh, I believe all things happen for good reason. All things, even the evil one, even the bad ones. I'm a person, I learned from life that even bad things happen to me, it turned to be good. It's very really strange, right? I mean, bad turned to be good. How that can be? I mean, you must be crazy. Bad things can turn to be not only good, can be very good very good so i'm a believer and i believe good things is going to happen regardless who's going to take the office is texas and the democrat no but texas uh, trump he won what he want from texas right uh no problem they can choose the rules you know who is more socialist than the soviet union Soviet Union overnight collapse. I mean, can you be socialist more than the socialist in Soviet Union? You cannot. Over one night, you see, when when people are hungry, my friend, things will change. So you can lie to people, you can make promises, you can change rules, but all those rules can collapse overnight. As simple as that. <clears throat> Secondly, you see, there's a very simple thing in in business, in the world of business. Uh, all those socialists, they are businessmen, which is very funny, right? I mean, they are socialists, but they are people who own trillions of dollars, not billions. So those socialists who they claim they can fix the world and they want to uh, uh, distribute uh, uh, like wealth, but they are themselves, they are not doing that. Uh, but when they start doing the propaganda they are trying to do, as an example, increasing tax, etc., Businessmen, they will leave the country. They will go to countries where there's no tax or less tax. Business have no citizenship. Money have no citizenship. The first people to leave a country when the country go back is the rich one. The one who stay is the one who cannot leave. The poor one. So if they, uh, let us say, activated their agenda 
of socialism and they go already in the hardcore that will will make them collapse so fast actually it's even for our benefit so i'm not really uh, afraid of them uh, doing the change they are trying to do because it's going to work against them anyway socialism never work never never you know you see if you if you give a garden to 10 people and you say this is your garden for all of you nobody clean it give it to one he will clean it say to him this is your garden he will clean it the sense of the ownership you lose it nobody care and this is socialism socialism that okay we own things together and then nobody clean it and nobody take care of it and then the plant will die right <clears throat> you, you see uh, uh, Biden is good or bad for Islam I believe Biden he is going to kill a lot of uh, of, uh, of Taliban see Trump is taking his army from Iraq <laughs> and from Afghanistan Biden will stay you see those people they say things that you know I mean it's not what really what they say in the time of Obama the Pentagon warehouses were out of animation you can go and search right now which mean they cannot the manufacturers in USA they don't they cannot even have enough time to produce more animation this is how bad it was Obama he killed more than 300 to 400 thousand fighters in Afghanistan I mean a scary number in the time of Obama villages whipped out from the ground but this is the guy who went right away he said Muhammad is great and he went to Egypt he made a speech about the Quran and he says we don't know go in war but he is the same one who did hit very hard so they say things they do something else you know what I mean? And Biden is going to be just the boyfriend. He's, a, he's, he's a, I'm Joe Biden husband. <laughs> I, I, be, I believe that 90% of the things he would do is going to be Obama telling him what to do. But anyway, uh, thank you for the for the one saying hello, etc. I, I apologize if I don't answer. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so all of them they speak. You see, uh, uh, Trump. They call him racist. He's the one who hate Muslim, but he is the one who is uh, with the Roman army from Islamic countries. He's the one who don't want to bomb them. <laughs> I mean, you see the irony. Uh, uh, they 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 accuse him that he is, uh, 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 you know, he's a he's a war monger. But the guy he never go in war, and he went and shake hands with the with the hand of the the, the president of Korea. Uh, so what do you want? I mean, the guy, which one you want? Shake hands with a dictator or having nuclear war, war and millions die. So if we kind of stop the war by shaking hands, shake hands. I mean, this is how hypocrite they are. In the time of Obama, almost we are almost going to hit Korea by, nu by nuke. Almost. If Obama stay for two weeks more, we are going to hit using nuke. Go and see the news. You will see that Guam, the island of Guam, they were in, in, in a high standard alert because they are expecting any time nukes will fail on them. This is the truth about Democrats. They are the war mongers. And this is why Trump, he was fought. He did not go for war. The general against him. The war industry is against him. The mafia of the industry, the, the mafia of the war is against him. Because if there's no war, there's no money. Many people do not understand that war in America is billions, trillions for the businessmen who they sponsor war. Not for the American, you know, for the rich, rich, rich ones. He did not go for war. He refused to go for war. He refused to hit Iran. He refused to attack Iran. This is why this guy with his name, uh, uh, the, one, uh, the, the one who made the book about uh, Trump, he fired him. Why? Because he wanted him to hit Iran. And why he want to hit Iran? Because if you hit Iran, we start a war. And if Trump, he start a war, nobody will vote for Biden. Not a single American. So you can say his fault, he did not go for war. Go for war, you stay. Because everybody will support you. Right? But the guy, he did not go for war. Well, you know, I don't know. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mafia. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> going back to our topic, 
those who betray, those who betray, you know, like did you hear about Trump niece making a book against him? And what the book is about? I mean, family stuff, who cares? Right? That's the most stupid thing ever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, somebody says a Christian, uh, once I remember, uh, I was in a chat room and somebody supposedly want to like, uh, you know, want to make it look bad. He said, Christian Prince, we heard that you like women. So I took the microphone. I said, sure, I do. <laughs> Thank God I don't like men. <laughs> You know, so, I mean, they are silly and they are so stupid. You make a book about the guy and you say to us things which have nothing to do with us. Who care? I mean, who care? What we want from the guy, we did not elect him because he's going to be our dad or or, or he is my, my he's, he's going to be my stepfather. We hire him to be a president and he is doing what the president do. Who care about the rest? So they are stupid. They are low class. They are trashy. They try to trash you because they are trashy, attacking the person in a personal way. I mean, who cares? You come to listen to Christian friends. We are listening to him talk about Islam, not because he's the good guy. Who said he never said he's a good guy? By the way, I'm not a good guy. You know, I'm. You know, they asked me, uh, "You want to be a priest?" I said, "Have you ever seen a priest? He he he, he walk with with guns." I mean, come on, hello, yeah. So those who they try attack the person as a person, the, the, the way they do it to Trump, because they are bankrupt. Trump, he speak about women. All men, they speak about women. And women, they speak about men. I mean, look at the hypocrisy. The people who they make porn in California, they are talking about Trump. He said something for women. I mean, can you believe it? People who cannot say two sentences without using the F word, suddenly they are saying Trump is bad. Did you know what he said for women? He grabbed her from somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you see the stupidity? Do you see the hypocrisy? Those people, they cannot say two words without using filthy language, and then they are going to judge Trump for using a bad language. Suddenly they became, you know, it's like a, like a Aisha, she claimed, to, she claimed to be virgin. Are you getting my point? So they could not find something against the guy, how we can put him down. So in the beginning, in 2016, they, they, uh, uh, they post uh, uh, a voice of him speaking about women, saying things about women, and you know, he is sexist, he insults women. Imagine, guys, he said he, she is a crazy woman. You cannot say a crazy woman. So I, if I say a crazy woman, that's mean I am putting women down. <laughs> so what about you say crazy man? <laughs> you know, those people, they are bankrupt. They are bankrupt. And they try to make you racist. It doesn't matter what you say. If they like, they ask you, do you, do you like chocolate? You say no. You say, see, you don't like people of color. Like, what? Do you like milk? Yes. See, he's a he's a white supremacist. <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, George Bush he attacked Iraq. This is why he won the election second time. George Bush the son. Bush, Bush, the father, he lost because he stopped. <laughs> oh, my friend. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, you know, uh, in America, we have a lot of funny stuff, and Americans are funny people anyway. Uh, uh, Americans don't even know where is the wire, ha White House is located, most of them. They don't know even what is the White House. There's many people, they do not know even how many stars in the flag. There's many Americans, they do not know the anthem. There's many Americans, they do not know what is the next border country next to us in the in the in the in the south and what is in the north there's many people do not know where israel is located there's many people do not know where, where, like you say war in syria where is syria you know they don't, they don't know american most of american they never have a passport you, you can say maybe more than 80 percent and most of american they did not leave town you know before i come to the state I was thinking about the West as people who they are educated. I mean, come on, I'm coming from the Middle East, you know? I mean, we cannot compare, you know, the Middle East, like, hello? And then I come to the state and notice that those people, they have no idea what's happening in this world. 
they have no idea whatsoever so you know for those who don't live in the state they have no idea what is the state is about american are very nice people generally speaking and they are very friendly you walk in the street people just smile in your face very nice people but in the same time they are very uneducated people this is why tv stations are very important in america you want to win the election this is why you see donate for us donate for us if you want us to win i mean how in the world that work donate for me so i can win yeah because you donate for him he buy more time in tv and then more people they will believe his lies or his good and then he will win it's about how much money you spend how much how, how how much money will give you the chance you know to spread your lies more that is the truth uh, <clears throat> anyway there's no education in america i mean there's no education you see america is a country of education of a specialty but when it comes to social there's no education. I mean, what's social? In America, they teach you to hate your country. You know that? That's what they, if you go and live in California, they teach your son that America is a bad country. I mean, have you ever heard? This is why, what you expect? You see those Antifa and people, you know, burning flags. And, because they teach them this is a bad country. They hate the country. It's a self destruction teaching. You know, they want to. This is the purpose, by the way. The one who inflamed this is countries who they are enemy of USA. They sponsor those movements because you cannot win a war against USA, but we can make USA destroy USA. All right. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, my friend. I love them too. Yeah. Anyway, so people, they can attack Trump for he is being a bad person, but you can say whatever thing you want about him as a bad person, but he was a good president. And I don't care really if he's a bad person or not. You can say Christian Prince is a bad person. So what? People are here to listen to him for his knowledge about Islam. So you need to be always careful how people they try to approach to you, try to fool you. Trump, he did what none of them did. This guy, he never said a promise he did not do. Not even single one. While all the president before him, Republican or Democrat, they never did one promise. So they try to make him look bad. They try to frame him. Oh, Trump, he put babies, children in cages. And then we find that the cages is built by Obama. So the cages was fine at the time of Obama. And then you make it Trump problem. Right. Well, I don't know who is going to win. And honestly, I believe that we are winners always, regardless who is going to win. All things happen for good reason. Trust the Lord. Even bad things. Even bad things can be good. You know, if not, if not, uh, if not Islam discriminating us as a Christian in the Middle East, I will not be here. As simple as that. If Islam and Muslim, they were nice to us, they treat us equally, I will never be here. I will never be speaking about Islam. At least that's the way, the way I do. Right? So bad things can happen but bad things can make something better. So don't worry about bad things because bad things can bring something really good. If not the devil, we'd have never met Jesus. That's the truth. <laughs> Jesus come to us in this earth because of the devil. Because we need him to save us, right? So if you don't have the virus, the embers will not come. <laughs> You wish to see the ambulance? Well, the ambulance will not show up your house because that is not really the call of the ambulance. will never come to you unless you need them. 
I hope you will not need it. I mean, I'm just giving you an example. So bad things not necessarily going to do bad things to you. It can be for your benefit. So be always better believer. Trust the Lord. Never trust the man. Whoever come, whoever go, there is only one name will stay. That is the name of Christ. You and me and all of us, we are dead people. The Bible says, let the, let the, let the dead bury the dead. So those who spend their life uh, with a with target of attacking person, a person, not an ideology, they are wasting their time with the person. The person who will die, he will go. Unless this person like is a prophet, so he's misleading even after his death. So don't be like those people. Be free of your thought. Don't listen to TV stations. You can listen to them. You can watch them. But I'm, when I say don't listen, I mean don't believe. Investigate. You know? They can say whatever they want. But not everything they say is true. All right? You have always to investigate uh, what's happening. Um, any question before we go? Tomorrow, I supposedly I will go live on air, but I my actually my nose now I feel better. I, mean, I think because I'm talking, because my nose was really blocked and I felt like I'm getting flu. Maybe I hope it's not Corona. <laughs> the Muslim they will say Allah Akbar. Christian Prince got Corona, <laughs> brother. He got Corona. He got Corona. All of her. All half Corona. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah anyway be happy be positive even when bad things come to you and uh, you know yeah you know you lose when you lose always you lose when you think you are a loser that's the, that's the moment you are you are you, you lost not not really because of what's happening. The second you think you lost, that's mean you are lost. See, Trump, after what happened, I respect about him that he did not give up. This guy is not a loser. Even if he lose, he is fighting to the last moment. I mean, how good is that? You know what I mean? And this is how we should be, all of us. Never give up. Never. Because when you give up, you lost. Right? I always think I'm a loser. Why, Grace? Why you think this way? You should not. I'm sure there's a lot of positive things in your life, and you should be grateful for them. You know? We should be. Okay, my, my friend, uh, Travor. Yeah, we will, we will. But we have many things. I mean, if you see how many videos people are requesting me to do things, so like quality of life. Uh, I mean, we make many topics, and and actually, you know, when you talk about things like uh, have to do with life of people, people get uh, get offended because you touch the nerves of people. You know, because you know me, I speak in a natural way. I I, I don't like to. Uh, to be in in politics, I say things as it is. So the second you start speaking in a natural way, there's many people get upset. This is why actually I'm I'm disgusted with the chat. To be honest with you, like it, like today I opened the chat just to have you know because the topic is is chatting to you, but the chat is not really something nice for me, because in the chat, especially if the topic is serious, you will find the most annoying, stupid comments i mean you cannot believe it sometimes how stupid the comments can be so in order for me to, to avoid the stupidity i say okay let me disable the chat <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> actually uh, i stop email in facebook because i get emails as 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 stupid as you can imagine and actually i'm thinking to delete even my my facebook 
in in uh, in Patreon, I banned many people. If you, I, mean, you, I don't know how many of you remember. I banned them. I mean, you see the fight in the comment. I mean, what's wrong with people? Some people are really weird. And then I say, thank God I am who I am. You know? I mean, what happened to people? People lost their mind. I mean, even some people, they are like, you know, I don't want to say the word, but literally like bugs. I mean, you say, stay away, stay away. They come back. Stay away, stay away. Like, come on, leave me alone. Stay. No, no, I'm coming back. <laughs> you cook them today, they come tomorrow. I mean, okay, the guy, you don't like what he say. He is teaching wrong. Why you keep coming here? I block, okay, I block them. They come back tomorrow. Okay, my friend, you don't like what I say. It make you upset what I do. Why you are here, they come back. You know? It's like they are obsessed. <laughs> and this is the, the problem is there's the majority are wonderful people to, to have them in the chat to talk to them but there is there is people who they are like one one is enough to, to, to ruin the night like you know like you have a nice night and you're enjoying your time with your friends and then as an idiot he jump in the middle and you do something <laughs> Oh boy. The video we made last night, today, not last night, you can find it in Patreon. Always search for the last title because you see, when I feel this video will be flagged, I take it down fast. All right? So if you want the last video, you can go to my Patreon. You will find the link updated or you can go and search the same title in YouTube and you will just... Uh, change the search engine for the last 24 hours and you will find it all right <clears throat> uh, okay well i don't know what's happening in indonesia i i saw there's a flood etc i mean things is really crazy everywhere and uh, we do our part we do our part what we can do. Uh, all right. Any other question? So I want to apologize if I don't have if I don't have the chat open for you guys. Don't be upset. You know. Actually, if you notice that the quality of our video is turning better because the chat is off. Did you notice the last three videos I made? There's no chat. The video quality is way better. I'm not talking about the quality as like uh, the, the pixels. I'm talking about how much we concentrate in the topic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, people have started a flirt and proposing more instead of commenting on certain topic, right? Yeah, well, I don't know. It's not my, their fault. It's my fault. I should say I'm married to four women. And then they will not do that. Right? Anyway, if they see how I look like, they, nobody will flirt. <laughs> they will commit suicide, actually. <laughs> they will go to the top of the high mountain like Muhammad and try to go to jump. They will say, this is the guy I was a flirty with? Me? With this guy? No way. <laughs> yeah, God is good. Uh, uh, I am upset. I'm going to work in chat script. Oh, okay, Lisa, you can work in chat script. <laughs> keep uh, keep working in the chat script, but don't don't come back. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> I hope I did not have corona because my nose is blocked and uh, <coughs> sound fishy. Yeah, practice taqiyya, right? Taqiyya is good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you dream to see my ugly face? Oh, okay. Well, you know, uh, uh, just search for Muhammad cartoon or Ahmed in Jad, you will see we, are, we look very much the same. Actually, we I think we are cousins somehow, you know? Yeah. Anyway, the most beauty, th beauty thing about men and women is the brain. And for me, at least. For sure, there's an attraction, physical attraction between men and women. But if a man 
have no brain. I mean, how you can live with this man? You see the face, first time, let us say, you have a face of an alligator. But when you speak, when you think, your ideas is wonderful. People, they forget about your face. Face is the first impression you see a person, oh, she is so beautiful. But then she start talking. And then you hate yourself after you hear what she's saying. You wish you want to jump from the third floor. So the face is something can be later, you know, something you used to. But you don't want to use too stupidity. You know what I mean? You can use, you can be a person used to a face is not attractive. A person who don't like, he don't look attractive physically. But you cannot be used to listen to someone as an idiot. That is a penalty. That is a punishment. Me, myself, I cannot even sit. Doesn't doesn't matter with men or women. You know, I cannot sit between a bunch of idiots. I prefer to stay beyond the mountains, beyond the seven seas, and not to let me stay with one idiot for one hour. We don't want that. Uh, Biden will not make it alive for four years. My friend, he make it alive or not, he will not be the president. Always, those are those are toys. Those there, there is investors. You know, you did not learn about America until now. There's investors. They are the one who control who is what will happen. Investors, investors, even Trump, by the way, when you donate to Trump, let us say, if you send a donation to Trump for a million dollar in the election time, after he win the election, do you know what he give you? As a return, he cannot give you money. He make you ambassador. Don't you know that? All the ambassadors, most of them, 90% of them, they don't have anything to do with the business, but they are people who donate. You donate to them, they make you, you like, hey, you donate for me. Yeah, you know, I trace your support. You know what? I was thinking about you to make you ambassador uh, to Canada. Uh -huh. The guy he's doing business in steel, you make him ambassador to Canada. What does have to do with this? He's a donator. Money. So it doesn't matter really. You have a Biden, you have no it's the same. The only difference is the agenda of Biden is something we support. As simple as that. But all of them they do the same. <clears throat> uh will you make another video with Sam Shamoon in the future? You see, me myself, I love to be with those guys. I mean they are wonderful. But for me, for some reason, I like to do work alone. For some reason, I don't know why. You know, but I don't mind from time to time. And, you know, Brother Sam Shamon, he can call me anytime he wish. No problem. Yeah. Uh, I've been invited many, by many people to come and join them in their program. I apologize. I, you know, I cannot. I don't really like it, too. <clears throat> I mean, I don't feel like I need, with my respect to Sam and uh, the others, I don't feel like I need anyone to be with me. If you want to listen to them, go listen to them. They are wonderful. You know? And, you know, uh, for me, I focus on Islam. Sam Shamoon, he focus in the Bible. So you want to listen to answer about the Bible, go to Sam Shamoon. As simple as that. Yeah. Actually, tomorrow I was going to speak about the debate of uh, Shabir Ali. And uh, Anthony Roger, actually, I like this guy, Anthony. I like this person. And what I like about this kind of people, you see, I like fast thinkers, not a recording machine. So there's some people want to debate. They have information in the computer in front of them. Okay, no problem, we have computer. But you don't read something you wrote for the debate Two weeks ago you know what i mean the debate bring topics the guy he said said something you have to answer it you don't just keep reading from your computer so when when anthony was refuting shabir he got him busted from his own words not only from what information he put in the computer a week or two weeks before the debate and this is how you should always debate debate need somebody is very fast fast in thinking you have to be gifted. Not everyone can do it. 
the same as teaching never not a, you know many people they have a license to be a teacher but not all of them they are successful teachers so but debate is different because debate is something that will happen in a second in a speed of second especially if you have conversation of two people happening at the same time not like you know five minutes for you five minutes for me by the time you finish i search google what you say then i answer you so in my case i answer in the spot stop did you say that are you sure you know how i do it right so that make it very hard but for me i find it very easy why because the information is just there it's just like a blink of an eye it doesn't take me even a blink 99 percent of the videos i respond to them i did not even watch them which means i do not know what is in the video somebody sent me the video i play it you know or i watched like a little bit they tell me he said this he said that you know <clears throat> uh anything else so what we learn from those people who betray people who betray they can be the reason for success of those who they are not betraying this is what we learned today All right uh and actually the reason muslim they don't want to debate me because they don't know what I will say next. You see, you can debate me for 10 years and you cannot expect what I will quote for you to get you busted. Even if you listen to me for 10 years, I will surprise you. And this is why they don't dare to debate me. You will find that all of them, they have no problem to, be, to debate anyone. When it's come to me, all the excuses in the world, they show up. All of them. <clears throat> And the reason is very simple. They will be smashed in the spot. You know, we refuted you. Did you see this guy? He refuted you. Okay, why he don't call me refute me? Go ahead. When Mimi, he said he want to debate me, what he did? He can tell how much intimidated they are. Seven people waiting for me there. They did not even let me talk. They put the computer, the, spe the speakers far away from the microphone so people will not hear me what I'm saying. And the second I talk, he hang up on me. This is telling you how much intimidated they were. Right? Yeah, actually, they make an article. I made a video about it a long time ago. I wish I can find it. Uh, the article saying, if you debate a Christian prince, if he say the prophet is good, don't say yes. If he say the prophet is bad, don't say no. Because whatever you say, he will get you busted. So what kind of debate this debate is? Never say yes, never say no. If he ask you a question, he tell him, what is your point? So they want you to tell them their point, and then based on the point you say, then the, the, the answer will change. They are afraid to give any answer. Don't say yes, don't say no. Because it doesn't matter what you say, he will spank you. Don't do that. This guy is waiting for you to say yes. Say yes, say no. Are you sure? <laughs> uh. Are you sure? <laughs> you know, I have I have a neighbor. This guy, he's he's a very nice person, but he uh, there is something funny about him. I tell him, don't knock at my door. Uh, you know, if you take like if you wanna if you want something, uh, text me. All right. He never text. He come and knock at my door. So I told him, you know, like I was shy to say to him, I said, I said how many times I told you, don't knock at my door, text me. He said, okay, listen to me. This is how I text, I knock at the door. <laughs> so I said, okay, this is how you text, but your text is not accepted. He said, don't open then. <laughs> I told him I would be alive. He would be knocking at my door. I don't like it. You know, I would disturb what I do. Um, anyway, so some people, they are stubborn. And this is how the Muslims are. You ask them the question, they knock, you know, like you ask the Hindi, he, he knocked there. 
you ask him about Jesus, they, uh, you know, they, uh, you ask him about Muhammad, they, they ask you about Jesus. You ask him about Jesus, they answer about Muhammad. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I told his wife, I told him, can you tell him, please? I mean, like, he borrowed something from me. So when you return it, he don't wait until, like, you know, I go and, you know, he will come right and, and he will start knocking. Like, so I told his wife, can you, you know, and she said, trust me, I told him, he don't listen. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is how we text. Uh, <coughs> I want to need no CP heart. What, 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 what is that mean? <laughs> this is why I'm scared from the chat, my friends. You see why I disable my chat? Why you want to know my CP heart? <laughs> what if I don't have one? <laughs> Any other question? <coughs> I hope by tomorrow I will not be sick. Can you knock at my heart? Okay, go knock. Who's holding you? Um, they no longer ask me. Okay, you know, they, they post pictures in the videos. Okay, if, if this is me, why are you asking me to show my face? I mean, what's wrong with you? Unless that picture is not me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what she is saying. And thank God I'm not married. Otherwise, I will be killed before I go to bed, I, maybe after I go to bed. <clears throat> Actually, if I if I get married and then I go to the chat and my wife, she is sitting next to me and then she see this in the chat, what will happen to me? I mean, do you know, do you know how long the nails of the women these days? Do you know how long their heels is? I mean, do you know that danger is involved in this? So I will disable the chat. I mean, I will not let the chat happen. When she leave, I will, I will, I will turn it on. <laughs> <coughs> oh boy <clears throat> anyway any more questions before we go thank you my friend GP thank you wife is life well not this is not my friends they say I don't know what are you talking about <laughs> that is a new La wife is life are you sure <laughs> are you sure I think your wife is next to you, and this is what you are saying. This is it. Is that your situation? And by the way, I love it when people they start correcting my English. Like, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know, like how many words. So I say things, and people they start working hard. CP, say it this way, my friend. Don't try. I do. I. I even if the word I know how to say it correctly, I will not. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> actually we I'm thinking to make my chat because the chat here is causing us problem when we talk about Islam YouTube is all over me so either I'm going to start chatting the YouTube when we go live or somebody told me about a program it's called discord.com we will check it out and see all right but you know to be honest with you I think the chat is not helping when we have a topic because people, they will start focusing on what people are saying. They will not be listening much. And the purpose of what we do here is to share knowledge and not just to chat. <clears throat> if I get married, I will not be here. I don't think so. Because, uh, let me get some water. My throat is really dry. <clears throat> I hope by the morning I will not be sick. <laughs> no, even if I get married, I don't think I will get married. But anyway, I mean, this is what I do. Why a woman she will marry me if she don't like what I do? Uh, thought on Harry style in address I'm not sure what does that mean take to your attention that when sometimes you ask me questions and the questions maybe have to do with a joke in your culture let us say you're an American citizen or Canadian or etc I am not really too much connected to those things so I will not understand what you are saying 
All right. <clears throat> uh, America, loving family. I'm a big fan of you from Indonesia, but I live in Dallas. Me and my husband want to meet you. Well, I was in Dallas. Why you did not say? If you remember, <clears throat> I was in Dallas. Uh, when I was in Dallas. Mm. Last year, I think it was March, I forgot, or April, I went to Dallas and I, I had a big se uh, seminar in a big church, two churches actually. I went to a uh, Pakistani small church, maybe like there's, I don't know, 50 people in there, <clears throat> small community, uh, Christian Pakistani church, and I did a seminar in a big church, you know, it's... It, uh, have like I don't know maybe two actually I made a video a short video about it if you remember I post a video before I start the seminar I don't know if I still have uh, the video in the Arabian Prophet it was a very short video like a minute before I start the seminar um, so if you go to I don't know if because I you know I, I don't keep my videos as you know let us see. But you can find it. Uh, it was like for a minute. So I did a seminar in uh, in uh, Dallas, Texas. Harry is a singer. He wore a dress and dance. Oh, there is. Sorry, if there's a sound coming, by mistake. Uh, and dance. Andres and made tweet about and who is and why why I want to talk about this Harry who is this Harry or Harry I mean what what does have to do with me I'm not sure I'm not getting the point somebody he wear a dress and he dance and what what does have to do with Christian Prince <clears throat> All right, American, no problem. Uh, come back to Dallas. Let me know when you are be here. Yeah. Well, actually, when I went there, just to show you how those Pakistani people are wonderful, I went in the airport, and there was two uh, Pakistani Christians. I never met them before, and uh, I was invited by one of them. You believe it or not? <clears throat> The person, like instead of hugging me, like he, you know, his, 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 he bowed down in front of me. I could not take it, you know. I said, "What are you doing, man?" He have a flowers with him. I mean, unbelievable, unbelievable people. So, uh, uh, this person, he, uh, no, he, he took me to his house. I met his wife. I met his uh, father, uh, his mother, um, and uh, uh, I went to the. Uh, church seminar uh, the big one first <clears throat> and then we went to the smaller church which have small number of uh, Pakistani Christian but beautiful family you know it was a wonderful visit uh, sorry I cannot say which state I live in but anyway <clears throat> but you know for me really I'm not interested in, in uh, seminars no more because travel and cost and uh, uh, you know I mean it's too much work and then what they give you in the stage like one hour you know, 20 minute you know what I mean it's not really worth it like here we go instead of preparing for we prepare for a seminar <clears throat> and then we get like let's say 2,000 people in the church here if I stay for half hour more I will have a thousand Two or more, I will have more. <clears throat> so all the money we waste, we can save it for something better. I would love to go to India, but I will be careful when I eat Indian, Indian food. <laughs> Once I went to India, uh, not India, sorry, uh, a doctor from India, he invited me to his house and uh, his wife, she made a very nice tasty food. And I told him, don't make it so hot, okay? Said, sure. No, I told my wife, don't worry. 
So I went to his house <clears throat> and I start eating. <clears throat> I mean, my voice is gone, man. My voice literally is gone. I keep drinking water like an elephant. I keep eating bread. So like I keep asking for bread, like more bread than more water and more bread because my throat is in fire. I was shy to say, what is this? I mean, the guy, he told his wife not to put spice. I was burning. My head was dripping water like rain. <laughs> no, I eat spicy food, but, but uh, the Indian food is not spicy. It's a volcano. That is not spice. That is a food that will make you explode. You know? So I'll keep drinking water, drinking. He said to me, are you okay? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It's very good. Yeah. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, actually, I love spicy food, but Indian food is not, a, it's not a spicy. It's a, it's a, it's a C4. <laughs> That's not, that is not, this has nothing to do with spice, my friend. This is explosion material. This is bombs. That is, that is a second war, th third war three. Uh, yeah. Uh, what about Sheikh Uthman? He made a video and, <coughs> and debating you. All of them, they make the videos to debate me. They can win, so too, you know. Uh, you ask not to, to put spice. Yeah, they did not put spice, supposedly. You know, he promised me that his wife, she would not put too much spice. And I was shy to stop eating from the first bite. You know, it's rude. The people, they made a lot of food, invited me. And, you know, okay. I said to myself, come on, you are the man. You can handle it. Hello. Hmm? Consider the Quran. I mean, so what? The goat ate the Quran. You cannot eat the, the spicy food. You can. You can do it. So what? Like, come on. You can handle it. All what you need just five gallons of water and keep drinking yeah <clears throat> uh, anyway anything else before we go Americanized Indian it will be okay I'm not sure about that <laughs> anyway <clears throat> Who is this lady? Uh, we were talking. We were talking about <coughs> news station. Actually, this is the this is the daughter-in-law of Trump. All right. We were talking about how people they betray this man. <coughs> Here we go. I'm losing my voice now. I better go soon. Do you miss Abbas? I miss none of them, trust me. Actually, I'm happy that the chat is disabled when I go live because I don't see the stupid comments. I mean, the stupid comment, you see, the the, uh, the reason I, I stay so long when I, I mean, I disable the chat and my videos stay, like today I, I went for what, long, almost two hours. <clears throat> and there's no chat, so imagine if the chat is there. Uh, I sent you my Discord server a while ago. I'm not opening the Skype, you know, but maybe later you can check it out. <coughs> Drink hot salt water. All right. All right, guys. Anything else before we go? Have you ever visited Sam Shamoon or David Wood in person? No, I never met them. I never know them. They never know me. And I am not planning to. <clears throat> they are far away from me and there is no need actually I was invited to go to uh, to Al Fadi to do interview in person or internet this was a while ago and then <clears throat> I apologize and then uh, they invited me actually twice in the last month to be in their program and I apologize again because I don't know first when I will be uh, like uh, I will be able to go live or to be with them. You see, this is how I do things. I don't know really when I'm going to go uh, live on air. Uh, so I sit it, make it like half hour before I go, maximum one hour. 
because usually I cannot set up a time for a long period in advance. <clears throat> Get any vacation. Actually, every year I used to go, uh, not only really a vacation, so I can finish my books. Uh, like when I did finish uh, six and Allah, I finished it overseas. I wasn't in USA. But usually, what I do, uh, I escape the cold. So usually, I go like uh, January. January, February here is the most harsh cold ever you can imagine. Very bad. So I I, I fly at that time. Uh, but this year, I don't know where to go. I mean, we have Corona. So imagine you go to a country. And then you stay 14 days in the hotel and then everything is closed and then you might even get sick in the airplane <clears throat> so we don't know how this year will. otherwise I really I want to I want to go I need to go actually I need to to uh, to have some change and so I can finish my books too uh, but because of corona things is different this you know these days what we can do and it doesn't look like Corona is going anywhere soon. Even they are saying there's a vaccine and etc. Right? <coughs> uh, you strip the Muslim naked. Okay, be careful. YouTube will, will ban us now. <laughs> uh, Six and other about eleven Amazon India. I don't know why, because the name may be of uh, offensive. Not sure why. We love you and you know it. Thank you very much. I really, I, I know that I have a big family and I know that I have a lot of support. I know the Muslims. They try to make me to put me down. They try, you know, they lie about me. They say things, <clears throat> and I know that those lies actually will give me more support. Not, uh, not the opposite. All of you, you know, why they attack someone like me? I mean, is it personal? No. I mean, do even they know me? No. So what is the point? The guy he is fighting Islam, so we will try to make him look bad. <clears throat> and no, you cannot delete the chat. The only way to delete the chat if you adjust the video, which means you change the. If you do a change in the video, actually before you used to do a change and then the chat disappeared, like you know, let's say you cut a part of it. Now, if you cut a part, they will repost the video again and the old video will stay. So the chat will be staying with the old video. So you have to delete it anyway. <clears throat> From Malaysia, Malaysia, this is a Muslim country, I will be arrested right away if I go there. They will be waiting for me in the airport with a lot of lovers. All right. And I think India is the same. In India, they have a law that to attack Islam too. You know. <clears throat> anyway, don't worry. There's a lot of places to go to, but COVID is the problem. Now COVID is the problem. Otherwise, the world is big and you there's many places to go. But where do you want to go now in COVID time? Wearing a mask. They put you, uh, they, they, they give you a plastic bag, you put yourself inside the back. I mean, imagine. I mean, the way they do things with this COVID is the most stupid things. In the airport, if you remember my last video when I was in the airport, Please wear the mask. Please don't take your mask. I mean, the, the speaker keep talking every every two minutes. Please keep your mask on. Please keep the social distance. And then we go inside the airplane and we have like we are in the top of each other. I mean, how, I mean have you ever heard of a stupid things like this? In the airport where the airport is massive, so huge. Keep so six foot distance. Keep your mask. You know, and then you go in the airplane. People in the top of each other. So what the what what this uh, social distance for? Or you know, 
keep social distance and then you go in the uh, in the in the restaurant and you take your mask off i mean it's stupid you know very stupid <clears throat> uh deep deep he is saying, I am a big fan. I am an ex-Muslim who became an atheist. <clears throat> but actually now I consider to be a Christian, uh, considering Christianity. My friend, don't consider Christianity. Atheist is good. <laughs> and, and let me help you to stay as an atheist. Ask me a question. Once I was debating atheist, <clears throat> and he destroyed me in two seconds. He said to me, do you like banana? I said, yeah. He said, see, this is our origin. We are monkeys and that was the debate right away and i don't know if i told you before once i was kicked out from the swimming pool because they thought i'm wearing my clothes when in fact it was only my hair so my friend why you want to be a christian and stay as an atheist we used to be monkeys you know yeah our grandfather was chimpanzee and the auntie you know she used to have a red bone i mean it's obvious you know clear why oh, you want to be an atheist? I mean, come on, stay an atheist. Don't go, don't leave it. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> if you come to India, none can harm you. You are always welcome in India. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Tarzan is the first man. That's my that's my, my grandfather. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Like, you know, the funny the funny thing is the Muslim they try to convince you that the Quran saying that Allah he make the Jews monkeys, and the atheists try to convince you that we used to be monkeys, we became a human. I mean, it's really funny. <clears throat> They are like in two direction, but both are messed up. You know, you know Darwin was thinking like, look at him, he have nose, but the cat have nose too. Look at him, he have long hands, but I mean, that does not make him a human. And why? And why until now there's monkeys? Why did one of them did not become a human? What happened? <laughs> they are they were late for the bus. <clears throat> Uh, what's the difference between the human 5,000 5, years ago and the human today? He lost a tail? He grew a tail? Is there anything new? Oh, it's going to take millions, my friend. I think after a million years from now, we will have USB drive. You know, because uh, this is what uh, Darwin is saying. I mean, <clears throat> you know, you, you develop yourself. So now you notice that you are... You need you need fiber optic inside you, so you can be faster in thinking. So now you start de developing fiber optic. So after like a thousand years, two thousand years, five ten million years, you will have inside internet net network. You know, yeah, <clears throat> it makes sense. Everything makes sense. Yeah, once I was you know sometime when I'm speaking in English, I I miss. Uh, miss like I say words I should not say like I want to say it makes sense I say it makes sex <laughs> so once I was on a radio show and I said well that that does not make uh, sex I said what <laughs> oh, I mean sense sense sorry <laughs> yeah that's what happened when you speak about Muhammad too much does not make sex <clears throat> oh boy <clears throat> It's good to have a good English skills, isn't it? I mean, come on. You feel like different. People look at you different right away. Oh boy. Um, any more, anything to say before we go? What is the time now? Oh boy. It's on him. Too much Momo, exactly. That's what happened when you speak about Momo too much. <clears throat> My English is good. Oh boy. You know, once in the university, I was doing my master's degree, and uh, the teacher, 
who is I have no idea what he was saying. He speaks English, but he is an immigrant. So he he said I didn't know what he said. Honestly, I have no idea what he asked me. So I stood up and uh, I gave him my answer. Now, <laughs> after I finish, the guy he shake his head and he gave me like a thumb, like good, it was good, you know. And then after we finish. I asked the person next to me, I said, do you know what was the question? The guy, he looked at me, he said, what? He said, what the teacher was asking? <laughs> you know, I said to myself, what he would ask me about? I mean, this is the subject. This is our, this is our class. So hit him. You know, I have no idea what he said. Honest to God, I have no idea what he said. So he asked me the question. I start hitting him hard and I, I left nothing. I mean, nothing. So like almost I like given the answer from like the whole book. So after he, you know, we finished, I told the guy next to me, do you know what he asked me? He said, to be honest with you, his question was not, I don't understand his English too, you know? <laughs> so I was like better. Okay, not only me. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I think we are done for today. Keep healthy. Thank you very much. God is good, my friend. Uh, we pray for all people to be healthy and we pray that this uh, coronavirus will go and life will go normal. And uh, people will do good. When you are going to know to talk about Islamic psychology, you know, super. You see, you are talking to Christian Prince. I'm not David Wood, who is very skilled in English. So I don't know what even psychology mean. Let me search it in Google. <laughs> you see, this is the problem I face. This is why I don't talk about the Bible very much, by the way. Because the Bible need a good skills in English to explain it. The Bible is a, is a deep book, not like the silly Islam and the Quran. So if you want to speak about the Bible, you have to really have a good skills in English. Now, I do my best with my poor English, you know. Let us see. Sectology, an interest or preoccupation with experiment of exertion. Uh, okay. Still, it's not clear for me. I mean, I don't know what does that mean. And this is the problem, you know. <clears throat> uh, You know, I'm not shy to say my English is not good. I mean, why, why are we being? Uh, I mean, does it make you make me uh, feel down? No, I mean, I I know what I need, and I express myself in the let us let us say. I mean, if my English is very little, and still I was I'm able to do what I do. So imagine if my English is so good. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I know what this means, but I mean, uh, those things in uh, in Islam, the Rukia or uh, the, uh, you know, the sectology, uh, it's just one of the fiction side of Islam. However, there's some Christian, they believe in those things too. You know, there's some Christian believe in those things. Yeah. Hmm. Abu 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 Uh, I don't know Isaac why YouTube deleted your uh, your text. See, I don't know why YouTube is deleting text. What for? I'm not sure. It says a message restricted. Hmm. <clears throat> Look like YouTube are watching. <clears throat> Make a video of fasting. You see, fasting just to make it simple 
fasting is not really about food it can be about food but food is like they say it's a branch of fasting you know you remember when, when the messiah he said it's not go, what go inside the mouth what it come from the mouth so religion like in religion way people they focus in physical things like fasting as food right and supposedly fasting is good to teach you how to control yourself to control your desire uh, to control your body it's the same as people like when they yoga, do yoga but fasting is different level but the real fasting is how to control you know your thoughts your mouth your tongue your act that is way more important fasting from fasting from food but people they usually they focus in the shallow things and they forget the important things you know and this is what Muslims do they say we are fasting but it's eight hours of fasting from food but then after that they do everything wrong <coughs> Uh, hey CP, you are afraid of public debate with Farid, my friend. Uh, let us say I'm afraid from public debate in with the Fifi, but why Fifi is afraid from public call? Huh? I mean, who is the one who's afraid? What public debate? Since when? I mean, do, do, did you see Fifi ever? He went somewhere to debate somebody. I never saw him debating anyone. Why Mimi he accept to call me in Sky, but he ran away? But Fifi he will not do the same. Is that a public debate? Is YouTube now is public or private? Are you now in public? We have five people, five hundred people, and I, I, I did not even tell them I'm coming. So the one is afraid is you. You Muslims, all of you are terrified. Who is holding you from calling me? Who 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 need a public uh, face to face? Everybody knows that Christian Prince never go anywhere. I sit in my short, I spank your prophet, I make fun of him, and you can do nothing about it. Why well, would I go anywhere? It costs me nothing. So, your potato, because he's afraid, he's terrified, he will not even make a call. I mean, what you will lose? If I hang up on him, he will be victorious. He will say, see, Christian Prince, he hang up on me. He's afraid, like what Mimi Hijabi did with me. He hang, uh, he hang up seven times in this than three minutes. <laughs> So your your potato is a potato. Where is he? I am the one willing to call. Here, give, give me his Skype. I will call him. <laughs> Potatoes. How many times we said, "Give me," you know, let us call him. I am willing to debate you face to face. I will come all day. Come on. What a potato. People don't want you to go anywhere. People want an answer. What do you want to go where? What is that? You know, face to face. Suddenly, all the Muslims want to debate me face to face. And if I say face to face, they will not come, trust me. <clears throat> they will not do it. Right? Uh, Zudi, Zudi Yasser. I'm not sure you are talking about who is Zudi Yasser. Maybe you are not saying the name correctly. I'm not sure. Uh, 107 accusation I replied for all of them just to show you how how stupid what you just said you just said there's 107 accusation that means already I have respond for 107 point of Islam you see how stupid you are because those accusations I am the one who made them so if you want to respond to them you call me You are making an accusation. I am the one who made the accusation. So you make a video talking to yourself and you say, where is the, the refute? I already did. You are, you are trying to refute me, you idiot. <laughs> Your video is respond. It's not that. <laughs> I have thousands of Muslims left Islam because none of you dare call me. And the Muslim who call me will leave Islam. And you are telling me 107. 
<laughs> and you know what? I have an offer for you. <clears throat> Do you accept to call to tell your brother Fifi to call me and we will go over the accusation one by one, me and him. What we will do, we will play his video and either he get me busted or I get him busted. What do you think? Deal? Or scared? Eh, I think you are scared. And I don't want to be surprised that it's, you know, this is, this is Fifi himself. <laughs> This is not me, you know. Uh, uh, once somebody a uh, posted a video says Christian Prince debating uh, Fifi. He sounded like Fifi, and then Fifi he made a video. Big mistake. This is not me. I'm the one. Guys, listen to this. Is that me? Okay, why you don't call him? Then obviously Christian Prince is waiting for you. Please call him. Make it happen. My friend, we have you all inside the box. All of you. Potatoes. Potatoes. Come from the box. All of you. And people are waiting for your answer. Stop playing the game face to face. Refute the guy. Refute that. Well, refute the guy. I refute Muslims every day. I don't refute Muslims, actually. I refute Muhammad. Who is Muslims? Muslims are people, they have no idea what Islam is about. None of you even knows what Islam is about. Debating face to face. Uh, uh, I can wear a mask. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, my friend, Sayed, I want to send you to your your uh, your favorite Fifi. Uh, just tell him, uh, a Christian Prince. He said he will not debate you face to face. He will debate you ass to ass. Because you are an ass like your prophet. The day you became a man, let me know. We are done with asses. Face to face people. All of you are cowards. And the face of the face is an excuse to avoid me. This is the whole story. All of you. Because you don't dare. You come with this idea face to face because you know that Christian Prince he never did that. So let us make it impossible. You know what I mean? Let us make it impossible. This is the whole point. Otherwise, the one who I debate, you don't care how it's going to happen. People they will listen to you, they will see the question, they will see the answer. Either they laugh at me or they laugh at you. Face to face, as to as, foot to foot. I mean, who is the stupid here? But it's obvious that you are doing all kinds of excuses to get away. And don't mention this name for me. He's a kid. He's a kid. He's the one who exposed your prophet. He says he agree that the the sun move every day. He's a kid. He is the one who get Yasser Qadi busted and make a lot of Muslims leave Islam. He's a kid. If not him, nobody is making fun of about the Quran as today. There's a hole in the narrative. Who is behind this? Fifi and Mimi. Stupid. And the smart Yasser Qadi, he is an, he's an adult, he's a smart, not like them, a bunch of kids. He was saying to them, it's better not to discuss this in public. Okay? Brother, it's not good to discuss it in public. And they insist, no, we want to discuss it in public. And then he gave them the bomb. There's a hole in the narrative. This is how stupid they are. They are a bunch of kids. So now what we have, we have a hole in the narrative and they have we have a holes in the bomb of all of those names from kicking the ass of each other. So suddenly Yasser Kadi, how many videos Fifi he made to Yasser Kadi to expose him now? <laughs> suddenly Yasser Kadi is a liar. <laughs> no dignity. They were worshipping the guy, they made him a scholar, Mr. Yasser Kadi, brother, we do not need to introduce you. I mean the same video where he introduced, he was speaking to Yasser Kadi. Mimi, he, he was saying, there's no need to introduce you, etc. I mean, praising him as if he's God. And the second he said, there's a hole in the narrative, suddenly he became a dog. Five minutes ago, he was the biggest scholar. 
Five minutes after, there's a hole in the narrative. And the holes in the narrative, they open holes in every bum of those, of those Abdul. And now we don't, they don't know how to close it. They put cork, it's not working. They put cottons, it's not working. Close it, it's big. Right? There's a hole in the narrative. And now you start scan, you're making a scandal against each other. <clears throat> this is how funny it is. Yeah. And you know, any Muslim can refute me. It's very simple. Just say anything, Muslim, they support you. They give you a like. Doesn't matter what you say. You know? Even Zakir, he, Zakir Naik, he refuted me many times. Brother and sister, they're the person in the name of Prince. And the great Prince, he don't know Arabic. And I'm going to get him busted. Uh, brother, are you going to debate him? First of all, I'm not going to debate him because if I debate him, I'll make him famous. But you're stupid. You just said his name, and that will make him famous. Exactly. But in a way, I'm not going to debate him. Because if I debate him, I'm going to make him famous. But you just say the Christian prince, so everybody knows about the Christian prince now. You want to make him famous, or you don't want to make him famous? I mean, look how stupid they are. They ask him, why don't you debate David Wood? He said, brother and sister, if I debate him, I'm going to make him famous. You stupid idiot, you just said his name. You just did make him famous if he was not. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid person like this? So I'm not going to make him famous. Who? David Wood. Okay, now everybody who's this, who's, who's this David Wood? <laughs> Brother, sisters, I will not tell you the name of the cheese. It's called Lavashkiri. Because if you buy it, it's a French cheese. It's very tasty. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupidity like this? I will not advertise for the Lavashkiri. Therefore, I will not tell you the name. It is Lavashkiri. You just did, you donkey. And this is how the IQ of those who defend Islam. I never saw one of them here have a little IQ. I'm not going to make you famous. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, there's one of them, he said, uh, actually, a Christian, you know, uh, I forgot his name, uh, the guy from uh, uh, from Philippines, hold on. Anyone remember the name? I mean, this guy was hilarious. He said, he uh, said, Actually, I debated a uh, real American, white American. And supposedly, uh, you have to be a white. And so, you know, those Muslim Filipinos are very racist. So white, you know, white, real American. You are not American. <laughs> real American, real American. Are you sure? Yes, real American. And then he said to me, and uh, I think you are trying to uh, debate me to make you famous. What? <laughs> don't make me famous please please don't do that <clears throat> can you provoke that coward Shabrari we did all wrong already a long time ago don't you know what he said they ask him when you are going to debate the Christian Prince he starts saying there's a high level and high leak and low leak whatever a leak obviously he was leaking like Muhammad no, I just made a video for Shabir Ali three days ago. We have like 30,000 of you. Go watch it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, do we have any lion here from the... There's any Muslim who debate me face to face? <clears throat> you know, David Wood, he, 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 he debate face to face. What happened? You start lying. He said, Allah have part. He said, who says so? Then Fifi, he said, yes, Allah have part. <laughs> Zakir Naik said, yes, Allah have part. This is face to face debate. Face to face debate, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is a guy who was debating me, you know, and like, you know, he was actually, he looked different before the debate. This is after the debate. I wish I took a picture of him before the debate. Yeah, yeah, his name is Rashid and Desan, you are right. Yeah. Arian, you must be from the Philippines. So this guy, he said to me, I debated real American. 
you are not American. I mean, who cares if I am real American or <laughs> real American? <laughs> what real white American? <clears throat> I look like you know there is like there is ranks. If you are white and real American, you have accent. This is what he said to me. You believe it? I mean, and then he said to me, "Show me your face. Show me your like, what? Show me your face or what is that?" And then he said, I, I give up, you know, I said, okay, you know what, I will show my, I said, honestly, I made a promise. I said, okay, come to the chat room, to the pal talk, I will show you my face. <clears throat> and the funny, this guy, he was a challenging, who Christian will debate me? Who is a Christian want to debate me? I, uh, Abdul, what's wrong with you? Who is a Christian want to debate me? I don't know. Uh, actually, here, I found it here. Show me your face. Show me your face. Why? Show me your face. Give me your name. Chris, huh? don't, you don't want see, to... See, see. You, you, want, you want to be known by people. That's why you want to debate me. And you accuse me of a lot of bad things. If you're a Christian, if you are a Christian, if you're a good Christian, you will, be, you do, you will not be like this. You accuse me of a lot of things. Guys, show me your face. You want to be famous, and if you are a good Christian, the most time they make fun of you 24 hours, seven days a week because you are a Christian. The second you start spanking them, they say to you, "Why you don't be good Christian?" Huh? Is that what Jesus said to you? They make fun of you when you are a good Christian, supposedly, and when you start spanking them, they say to you, "Is that what Jesus said to you?" Huh? You are not good Christian. But I thought. Good Christian is going to go to hell. <laughs> Why you want me to be good Christian anyway? If we are going to go, if we are kuffar, if we are bad, if we are equal to animals, if we are evil as the Quran say, and now you want me to be a good Christian. Why? I'm not doing this for money, my brother. How come you're accusing me of everything? Nobody accusing you nothing. You, you want to debate? Yeah, no, no, you accuse me. I, I read, I read. I, someone send me your your uh, message hmm? why didn't you, you answer me of, hmm? why didn't you answer how can I but how can I ask look, so, look, look 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 I have debated an American here you want to you want to see it I'm not I debated a true American born American huh? unlike you you're not American I, 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 because you have an accent. Can you believe it? I debated a true American. <laughs> Look like you know. You see, you know, we we reach the highest the highest rank. You know, you have an accent. True American. True American. You know, true American mean. I mean, true. Look, look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. True American. Look what? True American. Yes, true American. I debated a true American. Is he from Texas? Like he's a cowboy or what? Like, you know, true American. You are not true American. Are you true American? No, you are not true American. You don't have your accent. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. <coughs> anyway, guys, I better go. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. <coughs> oh, boy. True American. So I, I better go and get ready. I need to work in my accent so that Muslims will be convinced I'm a true American and then they can debate me. Because they will not debate you if you have an Arabic accent. They knew you can expect. This is the whole point. He's an Arab. If I am not, the, the, the stupid did that. He debated an Arab guy once. The second time he did not show up. He ran away. Once. They suppose I have to do two debates. He did not come to the second debate. This is the only time debate he did that. He ran away from a debate. He noticed that he is stupid. He is no match for an Arab person. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> thank you very much for being here. I'm not going to keep this video. I mean, there's nothing. I just wanted to chat with you and have a good time with you. And um, yeah, show your beard, man, my beard. You know what? I'm thinking to grow some be some lice in my beard. Uh, I don't know if you saw in the news in Emirat. Uh, they are selling each slice for seven. Uh, what is the currency of uh, Emirat? 
I don't know. Anyway, they are they are saying every uh, every lice for seven whatever currency is. It's not, I don't know. It's like two dollars, three dollars. Every lice. Why? Because the prophet he used to have lice. Actually, I can see it and show it to you in the news on I. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> Lies, United Arab Emirates. Uh, I search for lies, I see license. Uh, lies, what license? It might, it might be my. My no, my pronunciation is correct. I mean, why it came license? Very funny, in the search engine. Um, yeah, here we go. Right, just to show you. I mean, it's amazing. Why? Because the prophet, his head was full of lies, and they say now that this is a treatment for here. Lice is a, is a treatment for hair. Do you see it? Salon Syrian lice as hair lose cure warned. Golf news. Dubai salons are slammed for lice hair treatment. Al Arabia. Uh, head lice for sale. Dubai. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's saying business is good. Even lice, you can, I mean, you can sell anything these days. Lice grow lice in your beard, I mean, in your in your pant or whatever. They will grow. You will have a good farm there, and then what you do? You sell them to Dubai, brother. For how much? Uh, each one three point eight uh, three dollars and eighty cents. Three dollars and eighty cents. Let me open the link just to be sure it's uh, it is safe. <clears throat> three dollars and eighty cents for each lice i mean this is a good business you can i mean lice they can they can grow fast they, can, they will make like a, a you, you get you know you know you get two two lice from uh uh you know uh friends you know make friends some lice invite them to your house and make them have you know boom boom in your house and then second day they wake up in the morning you will find one thousand lice so from two lice they are friends in the morning you find yourself you make a fortune of money and in a month you will have way more uh, lice you know your house will be full of lice right? and then what you do you ship them brother for uh, dubai okay three dollars and eighty cents for each lice and you know how you, you know how cheap the shipping for lice is very simple because they are light it doesn't cost money i mean they are very light so you send them like 10 lies, but the, 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 the weight is not even the weight of the stamp. Nobody, even if they open the envelope, they will not even notice them. Right? Very good business. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm thinking to open a lice, uh, a lice center. You know, like, you know, hello? Yes? Uh, exactly. Yeah, this is lice customer service. Uh-huh. How many lies you want? Oh, no. Well, we cannot sell less than 100 lies because this is yeah because the health department says if you don't get a hundred lies it's not going to work as a treatment so you have to get at least an order of a hundred lies and you have to take three lies a day yeah yeah because you have to put three lies in your head three lies in your nose three lies in your pant and three lies in your brain mm-hmm Okay, Mr. Lies. May Allah lies you. Thank you very much for being stupid and calling us. We appreciate your business. Uh, so this is what it is. I mean, <clears throat> uh, because Muhammad was full of lies, so they are saying we should have lies in our head. Uh, all of this because of Muhammad used to have lies in his head. Yeah. Like you know, you 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 search the internet. Usually, you find lice treatment, lice medicine. But people are selling lice, putting it in their hair. Welcome to Arabia. Anyway, guys, I uh, 
I say to you, thank you very much for being here. I'm not going to keep this video. I just wanted to have a chat with you because we did not have a chat for a long time. And I apologize again for not having a chat. Uh, I think it's a better idea. And maybe we can open PalTalk to receive calls from time to time and to have a chat. Or maybe we will see this Discord thing. But I think having the chat disabled is a good idea. Make us more focused in the topic. And from time to time, we can do the same like now. We open the chat, just have a chat, nothing, you know. So you can, like to say, reduce your stress for being uh, jailed from having chat. All right? <clears throat> Getting busted, who? Who's that? Anyway, uh, thank you very much. And until we see you soon again, may the Lord bless you. I wish you a great evening. It's already getting so late for me here. I don't feel sleepy yet, and my nose is closed. But I think if I have some lice, I will check. Maybe lice can open my nose. They can dig there, and they will open it. Imagine you have many employees working inside your nose for free, for the sake of Allah. How beautiful. Especially if you are single, you have no wife in your bed. You have nobody to talk to. How beautiful it is to have some lies. They talk to you. They scratch your head. They play with your hair. And you can imagine this is your beautiful wife doing that. And by the way, because they are great in numbers, so you will think it's more than five fingers playing with your hair. You will feel like a lot of fingers with nails. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.